Next, let's look at the Bendix D2 governor and how it interacts with the compressor and supply reservoir and later the air dryer. The governor is used to control the compressor and thereby regulate air pressure in the supply reservoir. The governor's main components are the reservoir port, piston, inlet exhaust valve, pressure setting spring, and governor unloading port. An airline connects the governor to the supply reservoir. Reservoir air enters the governor at its reservoir port. As air from the compressor builds reservoir pressure, the governor's piston and valve move together against the resistance of the pressure setting spring. When reservoir pressure reaches the cutout setting of the governor, typically 120 psi, the piston will have moved sufficiently to seal the exhaust and open the inlet. Reservoir pressure flows past the inlet, through a passage in the piston, and out the governor unloader port to the compressor unloader mechanism. Air from the governor enters the compressor and acts upon the unloader pistons, which move and hold the compressor inlet valves off their seats. With the compressor unloaders pressurized, air enters and leaves the cylinder bores through the open inlets, and air compression ceases. Because the pistons are 180 degrees opposed, air is shuttled from one cylinder to the other as the pistons move up and down. When supply reservoir pressure drops to the cut-in pressure of the governor, typically 100 psi, the governor pressure setting spring moves the piston, closing the inlet and opening the exhaust. Air in the compressor unloader mechanism flows back to the governor and is exhausted. With air pressure removed, springs move the unloader pistons, allowing the inlet valves to return to their seats and the compression of air resumes. Here's a service tip. Make sure the air line between the supply reservoir and governor is unrestricted, otherwise the governor's function will be impaired. If either the governor or compressor unloader mechanism fail to function, the compressor would continue to compress air. To protect the air systems against a failure of either the governor or compressor unloader mechanism, a safety valve like the Bendix ST3 is installed on the supply reservoir or air dryer if the vehicle is so equipped. Generally set to open at 150 psi, the safety valve employs a spring-loaded stem resting on a seated ball valve. When reservoir pressure exceeds the valve setting of 150 psi, the ball moves off its seat and air is exhausted through the exhaust port. The safety valve should be checked periodically by pulling the exposed stem. Air should escape when the stem is pulled and cease when released. <laughs>